What's up, guys? So I was street skateboarding the other day, and I had one of the weirdest encounters I've ever had at a street spot. So I was in Charleroi, and I was trying a uh, frontside 5-0 shove it out on this marble ledge. And I don't really know the area that well. I actually did a skate adventure exploring this town before, and uh, I'll uh, link that right in the card above. But uh, it's it's a sketchier area, and because I have my camera gear and equipment everything and everything, I try to kind of be in and out as quick as I can, not make too much attention to myself. And I skated there for a little while, landed a few warm-up tricks, and then I went into the 5-0 shove. And I was coming a lot closer than I thought I would. Oh, dude. Yes. And then I ended up rolling away from one, but I thought I could clean it up a little bit. And as I was trying to clean it up, uh, this guy walks by, and he's standing by my camera gear. And I stopped skating to kind of see what he was doing. And as I look over to him, he pushes over my camera. You're grinding on historical stone. Yeah, it's not doing very much. You're disrespecting something, and you I disrespect your stone. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you get it? Do you get it? The weathering does more to that marble than I'm doing to it, though. But what you're doing is accelerating the process. There, there are surfaces all over the city you can grind on, and you chose. I don't think so. You chose a thing. But marble grinds without because to wax something like this, you have to use this wax. You have to wax all over it, make it all red and right, nasty. Right, but 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 someone literally paid and put their name on that. Someone bought that stone for the city. Do you understand that? Yeah, I'm saying with this, marble. This, this this is concrete. Concrete is free, cheap, and easy. But for me to be able to grind this, because this will not grind my truck. It needs a lot of wax to grind that, and a grindstone to make it smooth. Marble is, so, let me finish, marble's already smooth. That's why I chose to grind that, okay? I don't, I need just barely any wax at all. I just need to put it on my truck right there so that my board grinds across it. Barely any damage. This, I would screw it all to hell, and it would look like a piece of crap. And so would your board? Yeah, so would my board. So you're going to take something that someone bought. People bought everything, is what I'm saying. Everything here is bought for so, me to so, so, so then you fully understand my point. I understand that skateboarding is destruction. I understand that. I do it because I love it, and I think that the damage that I'm doing to that, the yeah. damage it's doing is insig insignificant to what it's doing for me, is what I'm saying. Oh, okay, because it's easier on your board. It's, it has nothing to do with the board. The, I can care less about this. It costs $30. You, I don't you just said you don't want to destroy it on this. You, I, you, you, you lit, your, your statement alone said, I don't want to grind on this because it's going to destroy my board. No, I'm saying it's going to destroy this. I'm saying to, to make this grindable, this is very rough stone, I need to take a grinding block and make it smooth, as smooth as that marble, for my metal to grind across this. Dude. And lots of wax. So it's going to look terrible. This is going to look terrible. Because so, so, you so, said I could grind any surface in the, in the city. Let, let me ask I cannot grind question. that unless let I make it look terrible. Question. Yes. Do you know this family? Do you, do you know why they bought that marble? I don't, but it's for people to sit their asses on. It's it's for people to look at, to see that name and to remember. For me to slide my board across it, what's it doing to it? I'm not taking the name off there. I'm not breaking it to hell. You can still read the name. It's still a perfectly beautiful piece of marble. Did, did they build that beautiful piece of marble in a skate park? There's no skate park anywhere around here. That's irrelevant. So maybe you, what you should focus your energy on? Is building a skate park. I don't even live around here. And for me, one, oh, there's oh, no oh, skate community. You don't, you, don't, you don't live around here, but you want to... There's no okay, skate. No, cool. Do you think that they'd build a skate park just for me? I'm not. Spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to build a skate complex you, for do me? You, do you think you could be the guy that builds that skate park? Do you, do you think you could be the guy that fundraises? Uh, uh, fundraises? I'm just saying. Look, I understand. Think, think about it. Think about it. There's not much of a skate community around here, However, and that would be a great idea. I've, I've tried I've, in my hometown. I've tried to I've, build I've, skate I've, parks. I live in this town. I understand. And there are abandoned buildings everywhere. What would it take to turn the inside of one of those? to this. You, you're grinding on not even four feet. That, what is that? Three and a half feet worth of marble? Yeah. So why don't you buy yourself a building and put a piece of marble in it and then encourage everyone in the area to come here. 
that's a great idea, but all I'm saying is I make YouTube videos and I film skateboarding for people to watch. Yeah, well, There's no skate park. Stop in disrespecting something you don't know anything about. I know, I know that that's a historical piece of the city, okay? Yeah, what I'm saying, okay, for me you to don't grind know the that. Name on it. I, do you know what it takes for me to grind that? It takes me walking up to it, putting a little bit of wax on my truck, ollieing up, sliding across it, and that's that. For me to grind anything else in the city, this rough concrete, it would take a grind block, it would make it was waxing it all to hell. This city would not look very great if I just put wax all over it or painted it or I something. I understand that. It's, that, uh, that object's the not person, changing. The family that put that there did that for a reason. There's historical context in everything there in the city. So for me, just riding my board across the sidewalk is disrespecting historical because I'm just I, I, riding I, I, on I feel, it I, by no means by no means is that disrespecting I'm just riding on it is what I'm saying how am I disrespecting I'm not spitting on it I'm not saying screw these people I hate them I'm skateboarding on it I'm sliding across the smooth marble because the smooth marble is easy to grind across I don't need to deface it I don't need to spread wax and grind it down and do all this stuff to make it grindable that's all I'm saying I'm going to leave because I understand that I'm disrespecting yeah. and if, in, oh, uh, when I'm skating a street skate leave, leave. I'm just saying I understand what you're saying. Can I shake your hand? Yes. You're educated? Yeah. You know what you're talking about. You nailed it. <laughs> Thank you. You but, did, I'm saying, because there's a bunch of shitheads that would have gone running away. But yeah, and you I know, respect like... respect you because you actually know what you're talking about. Yeah, and street skateboarding, like, it's always going to be destruction. I know it is. You know, that's part of, like, the, I don't do it because it's destructive. I do it because it makes me so happy to learn tricks and land tricks on things. But, so, but I don't want to deface you, things. What you just had alone was... You're not destroying them. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of a lot of people are just gone scampering off and gone and grind on this. Yeah. And that's why if anyone tells me to leave, police officer or anyone really, I'd leave because I understand that like this is loud, it's noisy, I'm like taking up space, people might want to sit on that bench, and I'd leave if they just told me to, you know? I hope I didn't break your camera. No, no, we're all good. It's a tough thing. You're good, you're good man. Thanks, dude. I don't even know. I don't even want to. Because <laughs> this is probably our only passing. But yeah. Keep it up. I respect you for talking to me, though, and not just saying, hey, shit, then, get out of here, you know? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I know that family. I respect what they built there. I, I respect what they put there, but you talk sense into me. Because <laughs> you're not destroying it. Yeah, I'm trying. Keep it up. Yeah, have a great day, man. You too. <laughs> And that was that. He went his way and I went mine. I continued skating the rest of the day. And the reason I'm sharing this is just because of how strange the situation was. Not only my interaction with him and how it did not go the way I thought it would, but just how he went about it in the first place. I found it so crazy that he would walk up to some random dude skating a spot and knock over his expensive camera. And I'm the most passive guy and I'm like the opposite of uh, intimidating when you see me on the street or whatever so I'm sure he wouldn't have thought any confrontation would have come out of it but what if it had you know he didn't know me he doesn't know who I am or what you know I could have been a totally different person I could have pulled a weapon on him or anything because you know he did knock over my camera what if my camera had broken you know but I'm so thankful for how it ended up my camera is totally fine uh, he and I shook hands and parted ways he accepted the differences and maybe I was too passive at his actions because he could have broken my camera but I think my conclusion was that I understood what he was trying to say he understood what I was trying to say and uh, we resolved it we resolved our differences and I know that's one of the hardest things to do whenever you're being kicked out of a spot or when you're in the middle of a uh, battling a trick and the last thing you want is to have some random guy come up and tell you you have to leave when he has no authority to tell you that. But I find the best thing to do is to just talk about it, you know? Some people are crazy, some people are just furious that you're skateboarding and they need you to leave. And those, in those circumstances you probably should leave because they will likely call the cops and it won't end very well. But I want to know what you guys think. What do you do in those sorts of situations? What would you have done if a guy comes up to you and pushes over your equipment or screws with you in any sort of way? Just leave a comment below and I'm excited to see how you guys would have handled it. And thanks so much for watching. I just wanted to share this strange experience with you all and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you can take something from it and maybe use it the next time you're skating a spot and someone messes with you. Keep shredding and tune in next time. Looks like I'll be worrying for at least a week I hope I'm still allowed to show cause I'm a teen